And now, two years ago, Yadidia Harush, a 35-year-old father of four who lives in the town of Shlomit, which is nestled between the Egyptian and Gaza borders, opened a matzah factory in Netivot. He employed 50 people in the factory and would usually start production and sales right after Sukkot. But this year, after October 7th, Harush was called up to his paratrooper unit to serve in Gaza while his family was evacuated. When he finally returned to his business after 2.5 critical months of suspended operations, the outlook was dire. Tremendous production time and revenue had been lost. But then, Jewish National Fund USA provided a vital lifeline in order for 5,500 boxes of matzah. And today, thanks to that timely intervention, all 50 employees are back at work. And in partnership with Jewish National Fund USA's affiliate Makom, a coalition empowering Negev and Galilee communities, the matzah will reach evacuated families just in time for the holiday. And so joining us now are Yadidia Harush himself and Shosh Misman, development officer for Makom, to discuss this inspiring Passover story. So first of all, thank you both for joining me today. Thank you so much for having us. So, Yadija, I want to start with you. You know, can you perhaps describe what it was like having to shut down, you know, the factory for these critical months during uh, Passover preparations, uh, all the while being called up to reserve duty? I mean, how dire was the situation? So, we'll start from the events of October 7th. As someone who lives on the border with Gaza, we went through horrific days of October 7th, 8th, and the following week. Afterwards, we had to be evacuated, and we were dealing with a uh, mourning of uh, the loss of our friends and uh, close uh, neighbors. Uh, our head, obviously, was not in the factory at all. And the following weeks afterwards, being called up to uh, fight in Gaza, um, my, my heart was torn between fighting for our homeland in Gaza, trying to save lives, and you know, try to get out the hostages and take out Hamas. But on the other hand, in the back here was always what's going to be with, with my business. And for many, many months, you know, uh, we, couldn't, uh, we couldn't work. And uh, when we did start working, we didn't have any orders. And uh, it, was, uh, it, was a, it was a big crisis. It was all my savings and everything that I saved for. I invested in this uh, incredible factory that we opened with 50 workers, which is a lot. A lot of people will live in the area. And so it was very, very critical for us. Mm -hmm. And you know, now that the Jewish National Fund USA's order 5,500 uh, boxes of matzah, you know, it's allowed you to ramp up production again. You know, what does it mean for you, for your, employer, for your employees, uh, for the evacuated families who will actually be able to receive uh, the matzah? I see you, you brought a box with you today as well. Yeah, this is our matzah. Our matzah is actually all handmade. That's why we need 50 workers. And uh, the workers who live on the border with Gaza, who went through everything we went through in uh, the last war, um, this is, uh, it means that they can put food on their, on their kids' tables. This order of matzah will pay for their salaries, will help me pay for the different debts that we have. And um, it's huge. And obviously for the, for the evacuees, um, as someone who was evacuated myself, we just returned a month ago to our community. I know what it means for a family who's not home to receive such a thing. Uh, it, it's, first of all, it's heartwarming, and second of all, really helps uh, to get the matzah, which is not cheap, uh, to your uh, Seder table, and it's incredible. Absolutely. And Shosh, I want to turn to you. You know, can you tell us a little bit, uh, you know, on your side about the types of communities that Makom uh, is supporting uh, for this Passover holiday? Well, I too will begin uh, from October 7th, uh, because Makom stepped up and got involved on October 8th. And what we did is we spread out our wings to all the people that needed us. And it didn't really matter if you were from the south or the north or have been through uh, atrocities or not. Anyone that needed assistance, we were there at the hotels assisting uh, throughout communities that embraced uh, displaced families. And we've been busy since. So now for Passover, it's almost natural for us to just continue the work that we've been doing since October 8th. Um, and I'm talking about over 100,000 people that are uh, being assisted. And n even those that still went home, it, even if though they went home, 
they're definitely not back to their normal life. And any kind of assistance that we can give, we're, we're there. And why do you think that Macom was called upon uh, to help distribute uh, the matzahs? So Macom is an organization. We are a network of 280 communities across Israel. And we're an organization of volunteers. These are people that go above and beyond in each of these communities to try to help those that are in need. Our 20,000 volunteers, uh, um, it's something that we do on a regular basis, whether it's youth at risk or Holocaust survivors, we're there to assist. And like I said, since October 7th, we've been extremely busy with the displaced families and um, the, the ability for us to already be there on the ground is, has been extremely uh, natural for us. And just now, I was uh, with Yadidia at the factory. We had families that are still uh, evacuated from the northern border, and they received all these uh, boxes of matzah, which was extremely, extremely helpful, thanks to Jewish National Fund USA. So an incredibly uh, amazing uh, initiative from the Jewish National Fund USA, from Makom and Yadidia. Uh, happy Passover to you, to your family, to Thank the you. factory workers. Thank you. Happy Passover to everyone. And uh, may we, uh, just like we came out of Egypt with freedom, continue the freedom and safety in our homeland and uh, prayers for the hostages to uh, come back as soon as we can and uh, have them home with us, with their families to celebrate Pesach. Amen to that. Thank you. Thank you.